Okay, so this is a video that's been a long time coming. I keep talking about doing it. I keep making it and getting interrupted. And then, yeah, things just happen. So now I'm going to make it. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to get it done. Get, get her done. All right, so this is a bookshelf tour. First of all, my bookshelf, I have my incense burner. It's a dragon wrapped around a castle. And if you burn incense, cones of smoke comes out. It's really amazing and cool, but unfortunately, I cannot burn incense because my husband can't stand the smell. <sighs> I had it a long time ago. <laughs> um, and then I have a baby dragon, and then this amazing, awesome big dragon, Peter like one. And then I have my Schleck Elven Fairies up here, which I adore and I miss them. They were packed away for like, I don't know how many years, about two and a half years, and I was so happy to see them again. So, I'll get to the books in a minute. First, I'll just go with the decorations. I just made this a while ago out of clay. This is my little original character, Kim Juno. There's another Schleck Fairy. This is another Schleck Fairy. This is Falleroy. It's actually the same guy as this guy on the horse. It's just him off of the horse. And then a few more Schlick Elven Fairies. So, for the top shelf, I've got my old children's book of Annie, the original movie. I got my dinosaur encyclopedia because, yes, I am a dinosaur nerd and I love them. <laughs> Family Bible. Star Trek Encyclopedia because I am a Trekkie nerd. Um, and that only goes, unfortunately, only goes to DS9. And then, because it was an old book. And the Star Trek Movies Volume 1. Um, that's pretty cool. And then, Weird in Washington because I'm from Washington and there's like really weird, cool stuff that you can look at. I love weird stuff in roadside attractions. Um, oh yeah, and then I have this Time Life Pirates book, which is really fun. Now, I plan on collecting all the Harry Potter books. I've only read one of them, to be honest. And so, I'm trying to collect them. I have the first one and the seventh one. <laughs> um, sorry if I sound like I'm talking fast. I'm just worried about running out of battery power. Anyway, I got Shel Silverstein books here. Two of my favorites from when I was a kid. Circle Trilogy by Ted Decker. Still haven't finished that book. <sighs> Narnia. Chronicles of Narnia. Lord of the Rings. The Hobbit. Another Tolkien book. Back there I have a little paperback of Alice in Wonderland. I want to get a better one. Got Greek Mythology. How to be a villain. Sorry, it's dark over here. Uh, Starfleet logbook, which should be somewhere else. And the if book. And then I just have some random stuff up there. Because, just because. Oh, sweet. I totally forgot I had another one of these. <gasps> yes. I'm so excited. Sorry, I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> so, on my second shelf, this is like... Um, it's kind of funny because I mixed up biblical stuff with fantasy stuff, which is kind of funny. Some people might say something about that, but I am a Christian and it is not fantasy. Alright, so anyway, here's my beautiful Sashomaru figure. He is actually pretty big, as you can see, measured by my hand. Um, I just got him yesterday. He is amazing and beautiful. I love him so much, but I'm going to move him for a minute so that you can see what's on my shelf. Alright, so I have Jesus Freaks, Volume 1 and 2. And I have Shine, which is a book by the Newsboys, favorite Christian music band. This is Yugos, it's a New Testament survey book. This is a book somebody gave me, I've not read yet. Um, I really love reading John Eldridge, so I have three of his books. Ransom Heart, when his wife, actually his wife did this one. Well, he read 
wrote some of it too, Captivating, and then Wild at Heart, which is the one for men, but I want it anyway to understand men more. <laughs> Here's my Bible, um, a book I got a retreat. So those are pretty much my like Christian -y books. I have a few up there too, but I just didn't have room for them. Um, so let's just show Maru back up here. I'm sorry I had to do this when it's dark, but it's the only time I could do things when people are asleep. Anyway, so I got this amazing dragon figure. I think in a very old video I have shows what this looks like originally and then me painting it. It was actually originally a wax, no it was an oil burner thing, it had like a little dish and you put liquid oil and burn things. But it was kind of scary, <laughs> I was always afraid I was going to burn myself with it so I just decided to make it look really pretty and actually use nail polish to paint it. So anyway, I've got Death Note, L Change the World. This is a really cool book. Um, if you want to see any of these books in detail, let me know and I'll show you sometime. Then Death Note 13, How to Read. The only reason why I bought that was because I wanted, it has a card inside that shows L's real name. And it's a really beautiful card. <sighs> and then a couple of Boys Bees mangas. And then Beast Stars, which is the series I'm currently reading. Now this is what I was getting excited about. I went to lay on the couch and start reading number six, and I realized I had finished number six. And then I forgot my husband had bought me number seven, so I could sink my teeth into that one. Really excited about that. Um, and then over here is really dark. I'm sorry, guys. Um... I have my Juliet Mer really your books, the Seven Water series, which I'm obsessed with and I adore. I don't have all of them. I think I'm missing one of them. Either one or two. I think one I need to get. So that's that's fun. And then I have a bunch of bookmarks up here. Yes, I do collect bookmarks even though I don't really use them that much. Um, I do use them just not as often as I should, so I have a whole bunch of bookmarks. So now we have the horror shelf. Here is, um, just a really cool skull. I can't remember who sent this to me. I want to say it was Raven Drackle. I don't remember. I think it is. Somebody sent it to me, but it's really cool. I like it. Um, so I have this black night cemetery dirt and grounded bone preserves that I put up here. And, um, my friend Patty gave me this cute little bat. Just gonna leave that for now. And I have this really cool sculpture, which you've seen in some other videos probably. I really like this one. So, first of all, we have Ultra. Alfred Hitchcock, Ghostly Gallery, a book called Haunted, which is basically what it is, a book about haunted stories. And I have my Pride and Joys, my beautiful, beautiful uh, classic books from Barnes & Noble, Penny Dreadfuls, Tales of Terror, Classic Ghost Stories, and Poe. Then I have one of the Ghost Girl books, I haven't read it yet because I need to get the second one. There's a giant, short, and scary book. This is a horror anthology kind of book. And then I have my Junji Ito's here. Hermina, Venus and the Blind Spot, and Smashed. I'm still working on Venus and the Blind Spot. I read Hermina. That was crazy. <sighs> Emily the Strange books. Then over here, I wish I had more light. <laughs> Focus. I have... Scary Stories for Sleepovers, More Bones, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Bad Times for a Ghost, I have uh, one called Gothic, and then I have some R.L. Stein books, and Fear Street, and Christopher Pike, and uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales, and Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula. 
That's what's over there. Now you can't see it, but that's what's there. And down here, um, these are art books. A lot of them are drawing books or art from different um, things like that's art from Soul Eater Soul and Soul Eater Knot and there's an Inuyasha art book and then I have some coloring books um, Gothic and Lolita Punk and a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of the stuff um, I had checked out at the library over and over and over again because um, I loved them so much and then I ended up getting them you know because I found them different places or online and then I have some journals here. I have several types of journals. I have art journals. I have uh, what do you call these? Like creativity journals and an anxiety journal and travel journal, Christmas journal. I have a journal for anything, you name it. Positivity journal. <laughs> and then I have um, regular oh, prayer journal. Oh, I have Dragon's Kids Bible there. A couple of, of kids' Christian books. Aragon, which probably should be up there with the, the fantasy books. Um, this is really a random hodgepodge of stuff right now, because I have like Treasure Island, <laughs> and then I have a, a travel book on Australia, <laughs> and more stuff, and then I have my Create and Destroy journal up there, and then my Cowboy Bebop is just poking there because I haven't put it in my movie cabinet yet. Crazy, I know. So on the bottom is really not much of mine. That was basically my son's art stuff. So my husband's RPG books. And I have Pirates of the Caribbean book. And I was just saying my sketchbooks. And then that's all my son's art stuff. I ran out of battery power when I got to this shelf. So I just want to quickly say this is my bookshelf. And it's very tall. It's one, two, three, four, five. And if you count the top six shelves. And yet, I still don't really have room for everything. <laughs> I, you know, I have to pile things on top and stuff. But I'm really happy with it, and I'm really grateful that I have a bookshelf. Because that was a lot of the stuff that I couldn't move until I got bookshelves. And I would like to get a couple of smaller ones, because my son needs bookshelves too. But anyway, they look really, it looks really cool with the anime wall scrolls. And just in case you wanted to see, I did get my Death Note one. It's over there. It looks amazing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I was just really happy to finally get this video done. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.